Hello, and thank you for joining us for this encore presentation of one of Viking's most special journeys. Our friends at All Travel look forward to building the trip of your dreams. And at Viking, we look forward to welcoming you on board. Enjoy the show. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining Traveling Virtually with Viking. Before we get started, I just wanted to thank our travel advisors for inviting you to attend this presentation today. Additionally, if you have questions, please note that our virtual chat and Q&A box is open, so please feel free to type questions in as we go. We'll be answering them during and after the presentation. And now I'd like to welcome Jordana Botting, Director of Business Development for Viking Cruises. Jordana has over 20 years of industry experience and has been on over 70 cruises. Let's welcome Jordana as we discover ancient Mediterranean treasures. Jordana? Thanks, Michael. As Michael said, my name is Jordana. I'm located just outside of Toronto, Canada, and my job with Viking is to work with our travel partners to share the world of Viking to our mutual clients, you. Now, it's true. I've been on over 70 cruises, anywhere from a 30-passenger yacht to a 5,000-passenger megaship. And what I love about working for Viking is we believe travel should be more than just a trip. It should be a doorway to cultural incitement and personal enrichment. And of course, we believe the best way of learning about a new culture is by the rivers, oceans, and now the Great Lakes. So for those of you who have been on our webinars before, welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. For those of you who have never been on a Viking webinar before, thanks for joining today. And let's give you a little overview of who Viking Cruises is. Viking Cruises was started over 23 years ago on the rivers of Russia, creating the modern river cruise industry as we know it today. In 2015, we reinvented ocean cruising by offering the same destination-focused cruising we do on the rivers, on the oceans. And this has led us to become the top-rated small ship ocean cruise line. After leading the river industry for over two decades and reinventing ocean cruising, we are now taking our destination-focused journeys to the far reaches of the globe and close to home on the Great Lakes with Viking Expedition. You can say at Viking, we have pretty much mastered small ship cruising. With Viking, you will be able to explore seven continents, 95 countries, 403 ports, five oceans, 20 rivers, and the five Great Lakes. Well, much of cruising is about bigger ships and more theme park attractions these days. At Viking, our philosophy is a little different. We take a different approach to travel by focusing on the destinations and the cultures. We've created our cruises for those curious travelers that are interested in learning about the history, the culture, the geography, and those travelers that really want to explore the world in comfort. On a Viking cruise, you sail into the heart of your destination so you can explore it more in depth. The size of our vessels, they're just 930 guests on board, gives us greater maneuverability to allow us to dock where those mega liners can't. Our goal is to be an efficient operator and our goal is to provide you with great value. So we've designed our cruises to give you more for your money with a cruise fare that will cover everything you need from meals, beverages, shore excursions, and free Wi-Fi. Combine all of that with our amazing crew who will exceed your expectations and only having to unpack once. Traveling the world with Viking is a great way to explore a new destination. So today, let's travel virtually to the Mediterranean. Our ancient Mediterranean treasures journey is a new journey for us at Viking. We're starting it in 2021. On this journey, you'll have the opportunity to witness the origin of the civilization as you cruise through the stable Aegean Sea. We'll travel from Istanbul to Athens, visiting two countries in eight days, including six guided tours on your journey. Don't forget, we have designed our cruises to offer everything that you will need out of your cruise fare. So that includes one guided tour. Our journey will begin with an overnight in Istanbul with its Byzantine treasures and intriguing blend of Eastern and Western influences. We'll travel to the ruins of Troy, long steeped in myth, and it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We'll see the biblical legends unfold in Ephesus before we get to marvel at the gorgeous islands of Rhodes and Crete. 
Our virtual voyage will end today with an overnight stay in the beautiful ancient Athens. So day one, you're going to get to discover East meets West as you arrive in Istanbul. You'll have time to admire the city that straddles two continents across the Biosphere, uh, the Bosphorus Strait. This old quarter with its skyline of domes and then on the other side where it's the modern Istanbul is an incredible city to explore. Um, Istanbul is a wealth of religious sites. So you'll get to experience the beautiful Blue Mosque, the legendary Hagia Sophia. Um, make sure when you're in Istanbul to stop and sample the local cuisine. They have this really unique flair. They got that Mediterranean flair mixed with the spices from Far East and Asia. It really turns out to be a really delicious fusion of food. Now, depending on what time your flight is going to arrive today, I'd recommend today, uh, maybe you want to explore the Grand Bazaar. Uh, I loved the Grand Bazaar when I was there. It's one of the oldest and largest covered markets in the world. It's 61 covered streets, and there's about 4,000 different shops as you go through it. So it's a great place to pick up some souvenirs, and it's really not to be missed. We dock overnight here, so you'll have a full day tomorrow to explore this port as well. Now, in the evening, you might want to enjoy a tradition in the Turkish culture and visit a traditional Turkish bath. But we also have on board of our Viking ships, we have an amazing program director that will always be there to assist. So if you don't want to do anything that is we're offering at Viking, our program director can help you plan your free time. If you need reservations to a specific restaurant, tickets to an attraction, or just recommendations on where to go shopping, they're there on board to help you plan out your time. Day two, you're going to get to spend the second day in Istanbul as you immerse yourself in the local life and the Turkish traditions. You'll have the opportunity to see Istanbul from the waters today uh, that divide Europe and Asia. You'll embark on a local sightseeing boat and we'll take you through the strait. We'll sail this beautiful, famous waterway. You'll get to admire the mansions and the mosques and the palaces that are all along the shores and the um, towering Bosporus Bridge, which links the two continents together. We'll also have an opportunity to visit a seldom seen mosque, which is beautifully tiled, uh, the Restem Pasha Mosque. It was built in 1561. And this, I'd have to say, is one of the city's hidden treasures because it's often ignored because of the blue mosque that towers beside it. But when you walk into this exquisitely colored Iznik tiled mosque, and the tiles have these blues, reds, greens, and purples uh, that cover the entrance, that cover the pulpit, the columns, I'd have to say it's probably one of the most richly tiled mosques in all of Istanbul. So we'll get you, you'll get a chance to tour that. But we also offer a really unique opportunity in Istanbul. And we call it our kitchen table experience. And this is a really unique experience to Viking because you will, and this is for my foodies that are on the webinar today, this will allow you to interact, have an interactive culinary experience with our executive chefs from Viking. So in the morning, you will travel to a local market with our chefs. You will handpick the ingredients with instructions. Uh, later in the day, you will come back on board the ship, and we have this incredible cooking kitchen that you will prepare all of the regional dishes and enjoy an even meal. So um, if you really want to have an intimate experience for my foodies to really get to know the local cuisine, I'd highly recommend our kitchen table experiences. Okay, so day three. Um, Locate it on the Dardanelles, which is a key waterway of the Sea of Murmira and the Aegean Sea, is an incredible city, uh, Kanakal, which is, this city has been an object of desire dating way back to the ancient Greeks. So today we will get to explore the legendary Troy. So what is neat about our tours is they're always guided by an expert guide. And the guide will take you through so you can take in the site. So once this city was a thriving ancient city of Asia Minor, and you'll learn all about it at the archaeological site of Troy. Um, 
you will see how the site has evidence of nine different cities and that it exists um, over millennia. We will, um, you will learn all about the history. The site is most remembered for the Tro uh, Trojan War. So this was the site of the Trojan War described by Homer and the Iliad. And you will learn, our guide will take you through, you will learn about the peak of Troy at the Roman Empire under um, Agogus, Agogus, Augustus, sorry. And you will be able to basically um, hear all the great stories about Helen and Troy. And you will, our guides are really unique because they will bring the rich history to life. So it will feel like you are standing there right back at the days of the famous war. So later on, we're gonna return um, back to the ship. You will get a quick orientation tour of Kanasco and you will have time to explore the town before we return back on board the ship. All right, day four. Today we are going to journey into the ancient world um, to visit Ephesus. Uh, this is one of the best preserved cities in antiquity in the world. There is, and I've been very fortunate in my career to travel a lot of places in the world, and there is not many places that have taken my breath away. And my first time walking into Ephesus was one of those experiences that take your breath away. Our local guide will take you through this once powerful metropolis that was thriving along the Caister River until the waterway dried up and crumbled its economy. And you'll get to go through and you'll hear all the great stories about all the different sites. Uh, as you're walking through, you'll get to visit the gymnasium, um, one of the educational institutions of the ancient world. You'll see the massive great theater that was built for 25,000 spectators. You're gonna see the magnificent, which is pictured here, the library of uh, the library, which was restored 50 years ago. And its facade is probably, I'd have to say, one of the finest examples of the Roman public buildings. Uh, this building was, was home to over 12,000 different schools. So you're going to have plenty of time to get to explore Ephesus. Uh, they have some great craft stalls that you might be, want to go through before returning back towards our ship. All right, Rhodes. We're going to discover the old town of Rhodes today, the island of night. Uh, prospered. It was basically wealth was brought here from the Holy Land by the Knights of St. John of Jerusalem. And today you will get an excellent overview of the old town of Rhodes, Europe's largest active medieval town, and of course, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So our guide today is going to meet us at the ship. We are going to walk the short distance to the city hall, passing through the imposing gate to explore the atmospheric cobblestone streets. We're going to head first to the Street of the Night, a narrow byway with these incredible medieval structures rising on either side of the street. We're going to pass colorful shops. We're going to see the 15th century Hospital of the Night, which is now a splendid museum. Um, we're going to go right until the historic lane ends, and it ends at probably one of the most colossal buildings of medieval roads, the Palace of the Grand Masters. This palace was built in the 14th century and will astonish you with its massive towers and its unmistakable medieval aura. After a visit, you may choose to linger in town before returning to the ship on your own by foot, or you might want to opt for one of our optional excursions to go visit the Acropolis of Lindos. Now, this the Acropolis is beautiful. It's perched on top of this rocky perch, and it has incredible views of the seas and the white town wash below. Uh, so you can enjoy that optional excursion if you wish. Now, I keep mentioning these optional excursions. We have limited space sometimes on some of our optional excursions, and when you booked your Viking journey, one thing I'd strongly recommend is to sit down with your travel agent. Your travel agents are well-versed in Viking and well-versed in the journey you're about to explore. So they will be able to go through and help you pick out those excursions that fit your travel needs. Um, so definitely work with your travel agent prior, prior to leaving for those excursions. Now, 
Oh, day six, Heracleon. Um, okay, this Venetian flavor, Cretan capital, is an excellent excursion. So we're going to do a short drive to the old town, passing the city's remarkable preserved walls, um, the old Venetian harbor that's located here. Upon arrival, we will visit the renovated Heraclean Archaeological Museum, which divides it dives really into the history of the Minoon civilization. So you're going to get a great tour of the museum. Our guide then will take you on a short stroll. So you'll get to see Library Square. Um, you'll go down one of the most inviting pedestrian roads into the city center to where Lion Square is. You're going to have some free time to admire the Venetian era lion fountain that's located in the square here. Um, this sculpture, you'll learn all about it on this tour. It is a special treasure that the people of Crete love. So you're going to learn all about the lion fountain. And then we're going to take you this, to the St. Titus Mosque, which has turned to a, bas a basilica in the 16th century. And it's a Venetian masterwork. Um, the arched arcade, it is a beautiful, elegant structure. And this structure is so beautiful. It's actually been awarded as um, a first prize winner for the Nostra first prize. So it's awarded as Europe's best renovated and best preserved monument. So it's definitely a great part of the tour that you're going to take today. Now, before we turn back to the ship, you're going to have time to linger. You might want to do some shopping. You might want to hang out in a cafe, enjoy all of that great stuff. Day seven, we are, you will have an entire day to journey into ancient Athens. Uh, we will take you on a panoramic drive. You're going to get to pass the promenade at Microlimano Marina. You'll enter the heart of the city. And here is um, the heart. The Placid District is the heart of the city. And this is where you're going to see a lot of the monuments, like the Hellenic he Parliament, um, the Singtatum Square. Um, you'll get to see the Temple of Zeus and, of course, the iconic Acropolis. Acropolis. So you're going to have plenty of time to explore the Placa District, which is at the base of the Acropolis. Now, I have to say the Placa District is probably one of my favorite districts I've been in. Um, you're going to walk through all these small streets. There's lots of street cafes, lots of shops, and incredible local artwork. Um, one of my favorite pieces I actually bought as I watched a man that was painting this piece on the street and it still hangs into my living room this day. So my word of advice is make sure you still have room in your suitcase once you reach Athens. Now, we will have optional excursions. Our included excursion is a panoramic tour that will show you the highlights. But if you really want to dive into the history of the incredible Acropolis, climb those 80 steps and... Um, to the entrance, you can do that as well. So we offer a whole bunch of different opportunities for you to explore deeper into these incredible temples of Athens. Now you're gonna overnight in Athens, so you can enjoy dinner on board the ship. You can enjoy dinner out in port. Day eight is the day you're gonna wake in Athens. And unfortunately, this is where you're gonna have to say goodbye to our incredible crew and your newfound friends and disembark the ship. Now, if you've purchased your air through Viking, um, we, will ensure to, we will ensure to make sure you get back to the airport to catch your outbound flight. Now, if anybody on this webinar today is like me and you're one of those people that always wanna maximize on your overseas flights and enjoy additional days to explore, you might want to think about a Viking extension package. Now, our extension packages uh, we offer one that will give you two additional days discovering the beautiful Athens, but our extension packages include everything you're going to need. So it includes a four to five star hotel in the heart of the city. We'll have select meals. We'll include a guided tour, our tours, depending on the length of your excursion. A Viking host will always be on site for you to answer any of your questions and all of your transfers will be included. Now, for an exact day-by-day -day breakdown, 
I would strongly reach out to your travel agent and they will be able to provide you all the information about the breakdowns of our extension. Now, if you felt that our wonderful overnight that we offered on board the cruise is enough in Athens and you're looking for a different adventure to explore more of Greece, uh, we do offer an incredible four-night extension that will take you in deeper to Greece and see some of the most spectacular sites to offer. So those are two additional excursions you can do at the end of your cruise. Now, we just don't offer excursions at the end of the cruise. We also offer extension packages pre-cruise. So if you want to stay in Istanbul for two additional nights, you can choose to do that. Or you can choose to explore the epic natural beauty and the ancient history um, of Cappadocia. So you have an opportunity to decide what you want to do. Now, the best thing, and I've mentioned this before, is to work with your travel agent because we all have different interests when we're traveling. So for myself, I'm a foodie and a shopper, and those would be what I would plan my excursions around. If you're more into architecture and museums, you're going to want to plan your excursions and around that. And your travel agent is there to make sure that they help you plan the perfect Viking journey from start to end. Now, let's transition to a bit about the ship that's going to take you to these incredible places. So for five consecutive years, we have been named number one ocean cruise line by Travel Leisure's World's Best. We're truly honored by it. We were voted by our wonderful guests and yourselves. Um, and it's a truly great word award for us to get. Our ships are the ships that our river guests design. Our ocean ships, they're very elegant. We have a fleet of seven. There are only 930 passengers, and they were purposely designed for small ship destination cruising. Our ship is so small, it allows us to navigate into those intimate ports, allowing longer days, even overnights in port on our itineraries. And if you notice, there wasn't one sea day on this itinerary. Remember, at Viking, we're all about making sure you spend most of your cruise in the destination itself. Now, when most cruise lines are building bigger and more over the top ships with a multitude of experiences on board for a broad spectrum of the ages, at Viking, we are different. We're doing it differently. We're doing it the Viking way. We are providing those carefully curated itineraries that are culturally enriching and destination focuses. And we're complementing all of our onshore experiences with our onboard lecture programs um, instead of late nights at the discos or the casinos, you will get to enjoy lectures from former diplomats, news correspondents that are eager to share their knowledge with you. Um, on board, you're going to not have to pay for any beer or wine with your lunch and dinner. All of our incredible specialty restaurants are no free. You can enjoy our Nordic spa with its incredible snow grotto at no extra charge. So at Viking, we stand apart because of the things we don't do. And the biggest thing is our ships. They're very elegant, intimate ships. And our ships have been thoughtfully designed by experienced nautical architects and designers to help you connect with that destination in every way. When we set out to reinvent ocean cruising, we reimagine ocean cruise ships completely from the inside out with staterooms and public rooms designed for comfort and serenity. Every detail on board the ship is designed uh, to enrich and enhance the travel experience. So from our thoughtfully curated collection of art, literature, history, to the insights of those amazing guest lecturers and our Viking resident historians, to our cooking classes with our chefs and our wine tasting with the sommeliers. On board of a Viking ship, you won't find any kiddie pools or kid clubs or casinos. Instead, we decided to create this open, light, filled spaces that inspire and refresh you along your journey. Now, we at Viking believe food and wine are a big part of the journey. Our highly trained chefs are on board and they are so passionate about food and committed to providing you an enriching culinary experience on your journey. We locally source our ingredients and this inspires our chefs to create those authentic dishes to the region we're sailing in. We on board of Viking Ocean have expanded our love for food by offering eight onboard dining options, all with no additional charge. They're 
every spare. Our Ocean Vessel Spotlight Fine Dining in our beautiful The Restaurant, which serves the widest selection of culinary options. We have incredible alternative restaurants from our chef table with a six-course wine pairing meal, Manfredi's Italian Trattoria, um, our incredible Manfredi's Deli. I mean, Mamsum's Deli. It's a Norwegian deli, and they have the most amazing split pieces. And then if all of that extra food is not enough, we do have 24-hour room service. And one thing I love about our ocean ships is we have some of the most El Fresco dining out of any ships in its class. Now, our staterooms, they're all veranda. We have six available categories to meet anybody's need that is on the call today. They are a perfect place to relax and wake each morning refreshed for a new adventure. Now, we really paid attention to the fine art of detail when designing our staterooms. From our luxury bedding with the king-size beds to our award-winning bathrooms with heated floors, Florida ceiling glass in showers, full-size premium products, to generous storage spaces inside the cabin itself, to our interactive TV with complimentary movies. It really is a great way to wake up and travel and explore the world in comfort. Now, at Viking, we're known for the Thinking Persons Cruise. So our cruises have been designed to help you explore the most intimate nuances. So as I mentioned, every detail on board is designed to enrich and enhance your travel experience. But we start inspiration even before you leave on your journey. We provide an online filmography that will give you a comprehensive list of movies that will surely complement your trip. We also provide reading recommendations, cultural profiles, and videos that will help you dive more deeply into the culture that you're traveling to. So today, I am going to end my presentation that will hopefully inspire you to keep traveling virtually in this time of non-travel. So I'm going to share some of our books from the book nook that we are going to recommend for you to read if you were going to take this journey. So the first book I'm going to recommend um, we have some great ratings on this book, Great Moments of Greek Archaeology. Um, it's a beautifully illustrated book with a wide-ranging overview of some of the greatest archaeological sites and discoveries from ancient Greece. So this book has been put together by some of the most famous archaeologists. And um, they're it's put together from people who have evacuated. Um, like worked on the sites themselves um, and questions a whole bunch of different scholars who have spent a lifetime studying these. So if you really want to dive deep into the sites before heading to Greece, I definitely recommend this book. Now, Mythos, this is a funny little nonfiction book I decided to put in here. Uh, it's from legendary writer, actor, and comedian uh, Stephen Fry, and he kind of puts some fun and some kind of new life into the Greek kind of legend. So you're going to, this book is filled with a whole bunch of humor and each story kind of reveals its re uh, relevance to our time today. So if you're looking for something fun and interesting, they have incredible illustrations uh, that go throughout this book. Uh, it's a fun read. So I definitely recommend that. Two movies that you can watch this week if you want. Um, first one is The Two Faces of January. This is about a glamorous American couple, Chester and Colette. They arrived in Athens and befriended a Greek-speaking American, Rydell. Now, of course, Rydell becomes enraptured with Colette and is somehow drawn into Chester's dark side of his life. And um, it's a great story. This film has been nominated for three awards. It's been filmed in multiple locations in Athens, Crete, and Istanbul, so you're going to get to see some of the sites that you would experience on this journey. The last book I want to talk, uh, the last movie I want to talk about is A Touch of Spice. Okay, um, this is about a gentleman. His name is Thanos, and he is a young boy who grew up in Istanbul. And his grandfather taught him that life and food both require a little bit of salt to give them flavor. So 35 years later, after leaving Istanbul for Athens, um, he returns home to reunite with his grandfather and his first love cooking. Uh, this film has won 11 different awards, including Best Director, Best Screenplay, Best Cinematography. So um, it's filmed through multiple locations throughout Athens and Istanbul. So those are two little movies this week. If you want to continue inspiring 
travel while you're traveling from home. Now, I'm ending my presentation with our Viking TV. Now, exploring the world is a wonderful place. And while we can't travel right now, it's still fun to explore it from the comfort of our home, own home. So we launched Viking TV in March, and it has been well received. We've had over a million views on Viking TV. We deliver on Viking TV enriching digital experiences daily from engaging conversations to inspiring presentations. So please join us every day. Every day we focus on a new theme. So today is Wednesday. So that is our music theme and we'll be talking about music today. So uh, log on to Viking.tv to dive into more traveling around the world with Viking. Now, one of the questions before I end, I get asked all the time, when is the best time to travel on this cruise, Jordana? Well, we offer multiple itineraries on this eight-day sailing, all the way from April to December. I find the best time for myself to travel in this region is springtime, April or June, or fall, September to November. Uh, the reason being is the temperature isn't as hot as the summer months, and you're not going to find as many crowds. So you're dealing with moderate temperatures, and um, you can really take your time to explore these sites in the shoulder season. So I want to thank you very much for taking the time to join us today. Discovering another culture is a wonderful place. And on a Viking cruise, I promise you, we will deliver you to extraordinary places around the world. So we have... Um, we are going to bring back on Michael and we are going to see if we have any questions today that I could answer, hopefully. And uh, Michael, hi. Hello. So our first question is, you had mentioned the kitchen table experience previously. Can you please repeat yeah. what that is about? Yeah, I can definitely repeat what that's about. So this is for my foodies on the phone. Uh, we have on board a Viking Ocean, and it's called the Kitchen Table Experience. And on board the ship, we have an open demo kitchen area with a wonderful dining room area that's attached to it. And what you can do with the Kitchen Table Experience is you get off the ship with our executive chef. You're going to go to a local market in the city that we're in at that time, and you're going to get to go through the local market, check out the local foods with our chef, our Chef's going to teach you different instructions on how to pick out certain foods. And then you're going to come back to the ship. And then you're going to go into our demo kitchen and learn how to cook the meal that you just shopped for. And then in the evening, we have a wonderful dinner with you and the chef and everybody that you learned to cook with that day. So it is a great experience to tie into a new culture of uh, food. <laughs> great. And is it possible to pre-book short excursions? Oh, yeah, it's definitely possible to pre-book a shore excursion. So the way our shore excursions work on Viking Ocean is, depending what, you can book them either 60 days to 100 days out. But that depends on what category you're staying on board of Viking Ocean. Remember how I said we have six different categories? Well, depending what category you're in, you get a choice of different amenities comes with that category. So what I would recommend when you're deciding on what is the best stateroom for you, sit down with your travel agent and know all the perks and the amenities that come with each of the different categories. And figure out which is the best stateroom that will meet your needs. And depending on that category is when you can book your shore excursions. And remember, work with your travel agent on your shore excursions because they have a wealth of information on where they can recommend for you to travel to. Great. Well, I think that's it for questions. So thank you so much for your presentation, Jordana. I just want to thank all of our travel advisors and their clients for joining us. If you have any questions on this itinerary or any of Vikings itineraries, please be sure to reach out to your advisor. As a reminder, we do these traveling virtually with Viking events Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern and 12 p.m. Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern. So if you're interested in learning more, be sure to reach out to the, that advisor and get that information. Thanks so much for traveling virtually with Viking and we'll see you next time.